Are you live? I'm live. I'll tell everybody. Tell everybody to go over to mine. You see all my gunk back there. Go get your chair. I'm trying to tell people. Okay, I'll go get it for you. Keep talking. Huh? I said, I'll go get it for you if you want me to. No, everybody will come in and we'll see us. <laughs> I'm telling people. Are you talking? <laughs> Do you hear me talking? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no judgment here with Tish Ross is here. Hey, Tish. <laughs> Tish, we're having oh, we problems. Major, major technical difficulties. So, welcome. <laughs> hey, are you guys going to the meetup next weekend? We are going to make it. We finally. I get you. Um, <laughs> she wants to know how how you are. She's a lot better. I will tell you that she's going to get her a chair, so she'll be right back. But yes, yeah, she is healing nicely and doing very well. Back to work. Is that Tish or Mike? That's Tish. She said, we are. Are you guys going to? Yeah, we just made reservations last night. We weren't sure if we were going to be able to go. Um, so we finally pulled the trigger and, and luckily got a reservation at a, a little, um, what would you call it? Airbnb, I guess. Airbnb little house. cabin. One minute from the uh, Cherokee Point. So, yeah, we're, we're excited about it. We weren't sure we were going to be able to go. So we... Uh, we worked on it and made it happen. Are y'all staying with Gilliam Farms? Gilliam. Gilliam Farms. Christina's going to kick my butt. <laughs> yes, she will. Tish has a book out. Yeah, she does. Oh, they are camping. Y'all are oh. camping? Okay. Well, if you get tired of camping, like I said, our cabin is one minute away. You're welcome to come to come there. There's Roberta. Hi, Roberta. How you doing, Roberta? <laughs> she says, y'all, I'm such a city girl. Who's <laughs> a city girl? Tish. Tish. <laughs> I think there's supposed to be four rooms. So That's the first. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome to come... Uh, Come crash with us one or two nights or whatever. If camping is not your thing. Yeah, if you get tired of the camping life. We did that Pinecone Fest the first time or the second time? First time. First time. And we knew. Yeah. Second time we got that charter. Yeah. Yeah, that was a luxury. She said, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're more than welcome. Yeah, it's on t uh, Lake Tim Killer, right? Mm -hmm. so, Same place it was last year. Yeah. Yep. How are you doing, Roberta? Haven't seen you in a while. We haven't seen anybody in a while. We have not done well. Julie's been had some videos out, but I have not done squat on mine. But um, you're starting to. Yeah, right? I'm fixing to start start it back up because uh, we just we had some stuff going on. So. We've, we've missed y'all too. We've been watching some of y'all's videos and stuff. So we've been trying to keep up with everybody. We've just been so extremely busy and overwhelmed. Um, a lot of stuff going on. But anyway, we're we're back. 
Yeah. Um, y'all, I mean, y'all know that last March, Daddy passed away. And then right after that, uh, me and Rhonda and Tom and Randy was trying to get the house ready because he was on a reverse mortgage. And we only had a certain amount of time to get it sold. So we were rushing. And we really didn't have time to grieve. It was just like rush, rush, rush. And then, oh, Tish, I wanted to tell you, um, my cousin, Jerry Ann Seville, that you went to school with, her daddy passed away yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah, it was Jerry Seville. It's very, it was very, very sad. Very I mean, much of a surprise to he, everybody. Yeah, he was a great guy. Um, but anyway, we didn't really have time to grieve. And then we sold the house in September. And then it was Pinecone Fest and trying to get everything ready for pinecone. Yeah. And then after that, then it was the holidays. And then the first of January started horrible. Randy was in the ER. We thought he was having a stroke. Um, so we had to do that. We both got the C word. Yeah. Um, and then, um, oh, and then I fell. And yeah. so it's just been rough. So hopefully from now on we can, start getting better. Hey, uh, Tish and Roberta, can you guys hear us and see us okay? This is our first live in a long time. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. You found us. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I forgot the name. I try to go on live, but it's telling me that um, they have to verify my phone number or something. Yeah. I, I don't know what's going on. Since we hadn't done one in so long, they... We got to wait 24 hours to do a live stream on her channel. But yeah, but you haven't mine, been live on yours. Mm -mm, but mine so, came right up. I don't know what's going on with mine. There's Christine. Hi, Christine. She's uh, she said, hello, my sweet friends. Did I hear Gilla? No. <laughs> Gilla Ham? <laughs> no. You heard it right. <laughs> mm, yep. She, she butchered it. <laughs> she what? always does that. She says Gilliam. Gillum. I correct her every it's time. Gillum. It's Gillum. It's Gillum. I know. You get it wrong. Say my last name. <laughs> oh, we won't get into that, y'all. Everybody, that, that's but a story. Mine. So, what's going on? Uh, uh, you look great, Julie Christie. Yeah. Christie do you Christie. see? There's like one here and one here. So I got a lot of makeup on, trying to cover it up. But there's two little things right there that I want to go away, but it hasn't yet. Roberta says you can hear. So very thankful that your ladder fall was not as bad as it could have been. Yeah, you're exactly right. Yeah, yeah she, they were she's recovering lucky well. that I'm still here on Earth. But I broke my nose in three places. Oh, that was um, that was a nightmare. Uh, yeah, right. I guess I overreached and I fell. And Tristan and Randy was on the other side of the house. And there's our Oakie Homestead. Yeah, we finally I, made it fell and screamed for them and it really honestly felt like my nose was off yeah, and I thought asking. I ripped my nose off and I kept telling Randy is it gone and he's like no no and then I said call 911 and I just knew I was dying but this right here is still yeah. I don't know it doesn't have any feelings in it but it still hurts and it's still she had a swollen a goose egg about that big right above her eye so her nose and her that bone right there above her eyebrow took the brunt of the fall so she face planted on the uh brick patio there's grumpy grandpa hello mark hey mark debbie wants to um stay with us are you letting her, her to stay with us <laughs> yeah debbie wants to stay with us it's a cute little house there's the 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 Nick Nickta 2002. Hey, Welcome hi. In. Glad to have you. Yeah, we hadn't been on since so long. I miss all y'all. We haven't. But uh, yeah, we have we have missed doing this. We've we've been saying, man, we got to get back into it. Got to get back into it. And just one thing after another kept happening. And so there's Lila Newton. Hi, Lila. Hi, Lila. She's our moderator for the night. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, so we figured we'd get in here and just let y'all know what was going on and where we've been. And I know we're going to the meetup next week and we just wanted it. to, 
I know there's a lot of stories out of what happened with me, but honestly, y'all, um, we were doing shutters. I was painting a beam. I overreached. It was our ladder. Um, she had a, a lot of stuff on the porch and I was using a ladder that's lighter than what I probably should have been, wouldn't you say? And I guess I just overreach and I face planted on the concrete um, and broke it in three places. And really, that's she it. She was on top of the ladder. She went one way, the ladder went the other, and she land, wound up in between the legs of the ladder, if you can see that, uh, face down. So yeah. I did not want to move her because I didn't know what was broken and what wasn't. So we waited for the ambulance to get there. And honest to God, guys, these, these ambulance drivers, uh, after talking to Tom and Rhonda about it, they, boy, they messed up big time. Cause they just, they just picked her up and pulled the ladder out and then had her set up. And, Oh, it, we won't get into all that, but, but I'm here and yeah, I'm feeling great. I'm thankful for Jesus for letting me stay. Um, I wasn't ready to go yet. I still have my family here. So, um, but anyway, enough of that. That's hearsay. But now we sh should start um, doing more videos and stuff. I've been doing videos just, you know, from she our does. building and stuff like that. But Randy, he's supposed to, and I keep promising that he's going to do more videos, but he came up with something. Tell him what you think you are going to start What I'm doing. thinking about doing is, um, keeping my channel, keeping the name and everything. I don't want to change any of that, but I'm thinking about starting to do like product reviews on outdoor products. Um, like knives, for instance, uh, I'm a big knife collector and I have gotten a few new ones in here lately. So I would like to do reviews on those, um, on some, fishing equipment on some pew pews uh just things like that guy stuff i mean ladies you are more than welcome to come in and watch but i'm gonna try and get out a, a at least a couple of videos a week uh, you know short videos 10 15 minutes and do a do a review on something and if anybody has anything they want me to review um or look at or you know check out i'll, I'll be more than happy to so y'all let me know what you think about that What's arm? Hello, Debbie. Huh? What's, what's arm, Lala? She would give her right arm to oh. go to 10 killer <laughs> oh. meetup. Oh, yeah. Lala, you miss a lot of meetups. Yeah, you, you really need to go. You live too, too far away. Yep. Yeah. Keep telling you, move to Texas. Never read it. Y'all, we went and saw a movie last night. Civil War. Have y'all heard of it? It's too gruesome. It's pretty gruesome and it's pretty realistic um, and it's very loud. And very hard to understand. Um, not hard to follow, but hard to figure out what's going on. Um, chat disconnected. Please wait while we reconnect to you. So we connected. Okay. Oh, we got Ron disconnected on the chat, but we're connected again. Ron said review those hex. It, it is woke. Um, hex clad. No. Yeah, it's um, hey Linda, it's very woke. So, hi Linda Peterson. Rhonda You're likes welcome. those knives, she wants you to review those. <laughs> <laughs> We're not rich enough to buy those uh knives to review them, Rhonda. Oh, the hex clad knives. Oh, lord, yeah. yeah, you buy me a set, I'll be glad to review them. But no, I'm talking about uh, like okay, well, probably the first thing that I will review will be my uh, ZT, Zero Tolerance. This is the best knife I've ever owned, y'all. But anyway, we'll get into that later. Uh, why does everything fun depend on the almighty dollar? Boy, you got that right. Unfortunately, that's my problem. Do they have meetups in New York? We saw Godzilla and King Kong. King King. Was that good? <laughs> she said, now that's a good movie. Really? Wow. Huh. Might I love going to out. movies. We do. We we are movie people. The popcorn wasn't that great that no, last wasn't. night though. That's, it's usually pretty good there. Yeah. This theater, y'all, it's in Terrell. It's called Film Alley. Film Alley. So they have on one side they have an arcade 
with all kinds of games. And on the other side, they have a bowling alley. I think it's got like 15 or 20 lanes. But in the back is, uh, I don't know, what would you think, about 10 theaters? 10 or 12 theaters. I don't know. Anyway, the seats recline. Thanks, Linda. Uh, you push a button and you can order any kind of food that they have that you want. Yeah, and we had quesadillas. We had... Fried mushrooms. Fried mushrooms, and we had potato skins. <laughs> we ate dinner. Just the two of us. <laughs> had, and popcorn and milk duds and junior mints. <laughs> yeah. We did dinner in a movie, and it was it was a lot of fun. Uh, Tom likes that place, too. And I think Rhonda does. Yes, Rhonda likes movies. Lila said, not many YouTubers in New York. I heard there's a lot that going on me. in New York. Yes, we did, Rhonda. I called, or I texted Tom to see if he was working. And he said, unfortunately, yes. So, yeah, we did invite you. We did. We did. And we we knew did. you wouldn't go without him. So, nope. Uh, Why is she saying, oh my gosh, Tom and Rhonda? Who? Lila. I don't know. Two old people on the couch are saying, hi, Tom and Rhonda. Well, there's and Christine there's saying, Debbie. Debbie, are you still staying with us? Did she just get you in trouble by throwing you under the bus? <laughs> I didn't. She, she just she said that she'll be there at the ten killer during the day. But she said that Mark would want to camp. Yeah, it's turkey here, turkey season here too, Christine. But uh, y'all going we've tomorrow? Been, we've been, well, we're going tomorrow for the day. Um, we're mostly going down though for some maintenance issues with cameras, and we're going to hog hunt tomorrow evening. Because hogs have been coming to Tristan's feeder like clockwork. So we're going to go kill a bunch of hogs. But before that, we may try to turkey hunt a little bit. Um, I love spring turkey season. That is probably next to deer season. That is my favorite season. And I have not been able to go this year. We've planned a couple of trips. but And our son, Tristan's never had. Has no, he, he? he never has. And I really want to get him into it. I think he would really enjoy it. Um, uh, as y'all can see, I've got all my gear back there and it's just sitting there collecting dust. Oh, <laughs> y'all have to see this. Our granddaughter, y'all know Presley, but we took her shopping because we her birthday's in May and she wants a bicycle. And we took her shopping to look at bicycles to pick out. This is what she picked out. I want to show you since I looked over here. Yeah, now keep in mind, this is a five-year-old little girl, and this is what she picked up. Ain't that funny? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bow and arrow. She saw it, and she said, oh, my gosh. I got to have it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tristan's doing really well. He's doing good. He's got lots of work. Uh, he got bit by a uh, pit bull. On the oh, back yeah. of the leg, uh, he he built a uh, flower box, one of the big long flower boxes, a uh, planter box, for a customer, friends of ours. Yeah. And walked into the backyard, and as soon as the dad Christine, opened the door, Michael. as soon as the dad opened the door, the pit bull shot out and latched onto his calf. So he he's got a pretty good dog bite. It's healed up now. Because this has been, what, a month? About a month. month ago? A little bit before my fall. Yeah. Yeah. So, but like I say, we've, <laughs> we've had a lot going on. Uh, yeah. And then we were at um, the harbor. It's in Rockwall. And me and Presley was chasing each other. Oh. And she hit a lamppost head on. Boom. And knocked her back. And she got a goose egg on her. Well, not really a goose egg, I yeah, guess. Yeah, it but, was a bump on her forehead. But her face and her knee so that happened too this year so there's been a lot going on that's for sure other than puncture wounds to uh christine um i don't think it, it tore any muscle or tissue or anything um it bit through he had on a pair of wrangler jeans and it bit him through the jeans and made three pretty good sized puncture wounds in the in his calf so um yeah he's he's still recovering from that but he's you know he's young he's he bounced right back. 
Our Oaky Oops. Homestead wants to go to Medieval Times. We went there oh, yeah, not fine. this past January, but the January before that for my yeah. birthday. That's where, what I wanted to do. And we went. It was fun. And we got to sit <laughs> right by the princess. And Presley went with us, and she loved it. Christine said, dang, we need to wrap the McKissick family in bubble wrap for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not opposed to it. <laughs> I know. So, yeah, it, it uh, um. It's been a, a tough couple of months. Tristan got bit, our Oakie Homestead. Oh, yeah, our son, Tristan. Uh, <laughs> she's like, I can't die. But, yeah, we, we went to, uh, and I didn't want to tell this story, but she's already mentioned it, so I'll tell you all what happened. We were Thanks, meeting it Tom was fun. and Rhonda uh, for dinner one night. And just before we left the house, I started to get a, a migraine because I, I, you know how those of you who get migraines can tell you got one coming on. You start seeing signs or whatever. Well, I popped to uh, Excedra migraine real quick thinking, OK, it'll it'll get it before we get to the restaurant. And uh, by the time we got to the restaurant, she was driving and I got out of the car and I couldn't find my phone. And I had it in my top pocket and then I couldn't find my snuff and I had that in my back pocket, but I was telling her this, but the words weren't coming out right. It was just all jumbled and I wasn't making any sense. And I knew I wasn't making any sense and that it, that kind of scared me. I kind of, at first I kind of laughed it off. I thought, you know, I was just a, you know, how you jumble up your words, but this was, I could not get anything out. And she laughed at me at first, thought I was messing around, but then she realized that there was something wrong. So we called, she called uh, Tom and Rhonda that were already in the restaurant. We were in the parking lot of the restaurant fixing to go in. And uh, so Tom said it was a, it sounded to him like a TIA, which is like a preliminary to a stroke. And luckily we were right down the street to, from the hospital. And uh, so he said, get to the hospital now. So we did, we went up there. And by the time we got there, I was better. I could talk, but they said, no, you need to go check, get it checked anyway and make sure. So we did, they did CAT scans and all, MRI and all that stuff. And everything came back good. I was, I was fine, but it, it scared us, it scared me. And uh, I thought, man, if that's, if that's how I stroke, comes on then i don't want one <laughs> yeah tom and Rhonda came up there and yeah to the hospital and yeah they did the whole stroke victim and all that um yeah. over the intercom so yeah, yeah. i mean it, it was bam 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 it was rush 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 and they they gotta make it happen right then and they did they took very good care of me um Lila, um, no, I did. Yes, I did get my medicine straightened out. And luckily, the injections I was on before are now, I guess, recognized um, by my insurance, which is Medicare. So, yeah, there it's like 11 bucks a month. So, hey, yeah, I, I got it straightened out. Thank you for asking. Though. I need to ask Christine, since she's part of the 10 killer thing. Um, I saw something about a pot luck. Are we supposed to bring a potluck and is that for friday saturday or sunday or is it for all days can you type real quick on what we're supposed to do um i just saw something about that i want to make sure that well, we you, have what we're supposed to have you have to sign up for the potluck we have what, to sign up yeah, what you're going to bring and i mean we can figure something out and be glad to bring something and just you know where we sign up at uh, on the on this I guess on the site the Tinkler meetup site. Friday's potluck, Saturday chili cook off at one. So yeah, because Terry says something about the chili cook off. Hey, Terry, Freedom you? Redbird, how are you? Um, hang on, I've got to go back here to something. Trans ischemic attack. Yes, Roberta, you're right. Uh, yeah, 
Linda Peterson? I think so too. I think it was a mini stroke. They never classified it as that, but I, I, I think you're right. I think that's what it was. Is that Brenda? Uh, Freedom River has flown. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, Brenda. Flying on. Brenda has flown on. <laughs> um, she can email you. You have her email, Christine. She said, I'm okay. Just wore it. Yeah, we were so sorry to hear about that. Yeah. I was just telling everybody in here, yeah. I don't know what happened to your husband, and I'm sorry in prayers, um, but my cousin, her daddy is Jerry Seville. I don't know if y'all heard of him, but he's, he's a well-known minister, yeah. um, and he just passed away yesterday. And my cousin, I just talked to him, and he said that he thinks it was his heart. So, um Prayers for my cousin, if y'all could put that in your prayers. Yeah. And prayers for Brenda, too. Oh, of course. Keep those going for her. Yeah, yeah Rhonda, she said, uh, we're we're still thinking stroke, too. Uh, I think so. So, anyway, listen. I don't like hearing that. <laughs> well, mini stroke, but still. <clears throat> she said, I'll send you the info on Facebook. Cool. Uh, Tristan wrote something and then retracted it. What'd you write? <laughs> Tristan's in here. Mm -hmm. Up there. It's Presley. Mm. Uh, Brenda said they think heart attack for him. He was outside in his lawn chair. Aww. You know, we were just talking about that tonight at eating dinner. It's it surprises us that not more people have heart attacks. Um, say, hey, love y'all. And no, she's in the bath. Okay. Love, well, love you, you too, too Tristan. Yeah, it's just like heart attack is like supposed to be the number one. And you would think, and y'all might, I'm, we're just talking about us. Like if you go out to eat, you don't see like people – you know, having a heart attack or when you go shopping or anything like that, or like you're driving on the freeway. I mean, maybe some of the wrecks are caused by heart attacks, but you just don't, you don't see it. I don't guess. Yeah. I mean, Rhonda and Tom, I, yeah, no, I'm sure they do, the but um, you just hear about them all the time and prayers go out to, you know, my cousin, Jerry Ann and Carl, because yeah. they're going through it right now. And, um, it's really sad. Oh, look at that. Christine said, I work for a neurologist who is a migraine specialist. Sounds like a TIA to me. Migraines can mess, mess you up, though. Yeah. Yeah. They. When I first started getting them, I was driving a truck years ago, and I honestly thought I was having a stroke the very first one I ever got. And I, I was driving while it happened, so I pulled off the road and sat there for uh, probably about an hour. But... Uh, uh, we was just lucky a friend found him when they did because out of town working. Wow. Mm. Man, I hate to hear about stuff like that. Our brother-in-law, I, I don't know if he had a, a mini stroke or what, but he fell in his front yard. Um, Charles. Charles yeah. And uh, yeah, there was, was ants and stuff on him, but I mean, he lived, but. Yeah. It's just sad when things like yeah, that Yeah, a neighbor happens. found him, and yeah, he had ants crawling all over him and everything. He was there a couple of hours. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, you never know. Never know. I mean, it could happen in a second. Yeah. Uh, okay, no more sad stuff. Yeah, let's talk about something fun. Let's talk about Tin Killer. Hey, Christine. Uh, is there going to be any kind of fishing tournament this year at Ten Killer? Um, like I say, we've been so extremely busy. I've been seeing stuff on Facebook about it, but I really haven't kept up with it because we didn't really think we were going to be able to go. Um, but like I was telling uh, Tish earlier, we finally decided to just pull the trigger and just go. Uh, so we, we got a reservation last night. Um, we are one minute away from Cherokee Landing. Mm, there you go. Two old people on the couch. 
Um, their uncle was at a restaurant after church, and he had a heart attack and passed away. So. Major heart attack. That sorry, y'all. Yeah, sorry to hear that. But, that's 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 heartbreaking. And it's it's not just um the older ones; it's the younger ones yeah. too. So, yeah. um, I had a friend on my Facebook, and I don't know if we're supposed to talk about this, but her son. Um, it's not like a friend friend of mine. It's a Facebook friend that I know. Um, but her son was in prison and he got some weed, I oh, guess. Yeah. And it was laced with that fentanyl stuff. Fentanyl, yeah. yeah. And he passed away and it's hard for me to wrap my head around. If he's in prison, how did he get it? And they said that, um, that fentanyl stuff is really bad in New York and they made it down here and we live like 10 minutes from Rockwall and Rhonda, you might know of this person. Um, but a little girl got a hold of weed that had fentanyl in it and she passed away. So I don't know if it's coming from the border and they're doing stuff. I don't know. I don't want to get into all that, but it's just really sad that things are happening so close to home and that you don't, realize it yeah what's yeah i mean i i i don't get it why they're pushing this this fentanyl because all it's doing is killing people is that the whole point behind it or or what i mean i, I don't don't understand it so fentanyl is bad everywhere now it's in the gummy candy now yeah no I've fishing tournament too. carrie yeah. don't have a chance to set up this. yeah okay family reunion style yeah, I will definitely fish sometime too. So, yeah, that's good. Okay, I just wasn't sure. Um, I need to uh, to get my temporary license. Christine said, "A fentanyl's in the gummy candy." So, see, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it's everywhere, and I, I just it makes me afraid. I love hard candy. I'm afraid to eat hard candy now. Yeah, Roberta said they add things into marijuana. It can be dangerous. Mixing things into it make it go farther as they sell it. Yeah, okay, I guess so. And uh, also adding in other drugs gives the user different types of highs. Okay. Yeah, that's what we were saying earlier, that I guess it, it, it kicks up the high notch or something. I don't know. And, it, you know, it's so sad. It's just because you're just... The drug dealers, are they don't care about you. No. They just, they just want that money. Yep. Your hard-earned money. That's all they want. Yeah. Uh, Brenda says she'll be there Thursday. Hey, Juan. Juan's in here. Juan Perez. Hey, bud. How you hey, doing? Hey, are you going to Tim Keller this year? He didn't make it to Pinecone. Oh, and speaking of Pinecone. <laughs> Aw, Christine said they, they wanted to be like Pinecone Fest. We love Pinecone. And we did, too. We had to such a blast. Yeah, it was a great time. It is it is more like a family reunion yeah. style. It's just laid back. There's yeah. no like activities that you have to be at. It's just do whatever you want to do. Well, and that's that's how it was last year. I mean, except for the fishing tournament. But I mean, you know, just a few people did that, but I enjoyed it. Hey, should except we bring our karaoke machine? <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> well, we'll bring it in. I don't care what anybody says, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Brenda, Brenda says, says yes. yes. <laughs> Brenda had fun doing the two stepping. <laughs> yes, bring the karaoke, Christine says. Awesome. Uh, Where is that? Oh, right there. Oh, there's a tripod, too. Oh, <laughs> I knew it was close. We couldn't find our big tripod that we, Ron and Tom got us, and it's right there. We had such a hard time getting all this going because we, we had to go eat. Because we I didn't we didn't have time to fix dinner, so we just went to grab something, and we were pushing it, getting back in time. And then once we got back, Drew was like, "I can't, I can't remember get on how to do this. I can't get on." Well, at first I didn't remember. I thought you pushed the little plus button, and mm -hmm. every time I pushed the plus button, it would just bring up my videos. So I'm like, I'm not doing something right. But 
after I looked into it, it was saying something about they have to verify my telephone number, and it's never done that before. Yeah. So, so then it said it'll be 24 hours before she can get on. So I went to my channel just to see if I could get on. And I mean, it came right up, and I got on. So that's why we're over here. And we didn't know that Mike went um, live on Tuesdays. Yeah, yeah, we totally. And forgot I'm sorry about, about his that. New, his new channel, the Sergeant thing. Yeah. So we're way behind y'all. Yeah. So far behind. Yeah, we are. I mean, we're, we're we're getting slowly getting back into it, and uh, maybe we can be a little more committed now. But our busy season is kicking off now, so uh, we'll be filming a lot of that. Delta eight and nine synthetic strands of weed out here nowadays, unfortunately. Hey, uh, Christine, yeah, I, I got on there a couple of times go, to go live, but Julie kept saying, you got the phone turned wrong because that it turned a uh, long way or up and down. So I tried to fix it and I had to get completely out of it and then get in it again and do it right. So I just, I tried to do it on the computer and it, it came right up. So Tristan McKissick, if y'all haven't been over there, go to Tristan McKissick. It's yep. under Tristan McKissick. Um, and subscribe to him. They're going to the ranch tomorrow, yeah. and Tristan said that would be a cool video, and yeah, it, it would be if y'all would video it. <sighs> Tristan started off great, y'all. I mean, he had some good videos. He was going, and then went and takes after his dad. What does that mean? Y'all, y'all talk about it, and then y'all start off great, and we're all, then we're all stop. bark but no bite. <laughs> Sorry, Tristan. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's doing much better. Um, oh, man, I really want to come. That's all everyone's talking about. Uh, okay, Lila, thank you so much for coming in and moderating for us. Uh, I wish you we could come down. It. Yeah, we really do. We would love to see you. Hey, you can stay at our place and it wouldn't cost you anything. Yeah, yeah. If you if you could just get down here and get home, you got a place to stay. Free. I know we have a room. Debbie said that she, I haven't heard from Debbie. Is she still going to get a place? I think there's four rooms. Jail Bait and Tackle Outdoors is here. I love that name. Jail yeah, Bait and Tackle too. Outdoors. Hi, y'all. Howdy from the Panhandle. How's the weather up there? Uh, yeah, Tristan and I are heading out in the morning. We're just going to go down and do some a uh, little bit of maintenance. And um, Tristan, did you find that battery holder we were talking about? Um, Good night, sister. Rhonda has to get up early in the morning. Ooh, She's saying bye. Comes early. Good night, Rhonda. Jax. Uh, <laughs> what? She said, Lila, you, me, and Debbie can snuggle. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about Tish. Like yeah. I said, it's a four bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> so well, there's plenty of room. It's a couch that makes down. And then, I don't know. Two, whoever, I'll tell you this whoever really wants to stay, email me. Or call me or whatever, and I'll send you the information. Debbie said that she wanted to. I need to make sure, Debbie. I know you're in here, so let me know. Um, and so Tish, she she sounded like she was interested, right? Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, just let me know. And Christine, they live right there, yeah. so I don't know. But are they camping out? I don't know. What is Tristan hadn't looked at? Oh, if he's got that battery holder. Uh, to be honest with you, Tristan, I haven't either. Uh, got sidetracked and and uh, just haven't had a chance to. But we'll we'll get it figured out. Uh, got to run now. Glad to have seen you both, Randy and Julie. See you all later in the chat. Hit that thumbs up. Thanks, Linda Peterson, for coming in. It's good seeing you again. Thanks, Linda. Brenda is coming there Thursday. Randy said something about coming Thursday. I would love to go Thursday. 
back to the house, back to our house after the first night of camping. <laughs> That's what we did <laughs> at Pinecone. Yeah, we only first, lived ten minutes Pine away. Cone fest, we, yeah. <laughs> In the middle we, of the night, we got up and left, <laughs> and everybody else was like, "Wow, Jeff, <laughs> Jeff from uh, Back to Country, Back to Country, busted us." <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah he he uh he gave us a hard time about that yeah we had our mattress like on a hill and it was horrible <laughs> yeah it was well, it was hot though we, we picked the wrong time of year for that that's why we moved it up to uh october because we had it last week in september the first time and it was miserably hot and i, I felt so bad for everybody Juan, i think there's still an um air mattress available <laughs> that um, you could stay at. Yeah, there's a, a the king, which that's ours. <laughs> and then there's, if I understand it correctly, there's two queen bunk beds. Each one is a queen mattress. And then there's, I think, two two futons. And then uh, a queen air mattress. So, yeah, we got plenty of room. But everything looks new, and there's like a little fire pit out there. I mean, it's just a place to sleep, go to the bathroom, and take a shower. <laughs> Christine, we are camping, but I'll probably go home each night to take care of the chickens. Yeah, that was our <laughs> excuse, too. We had to take care of the dog. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah uh, Mark, he said that new campsite rock. Yes, it sure did. I love that place. At Pinecone? Yeah. She said, wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, that was a great place. And we'll have it We'll have it that same place this coming up here. Yeah, we got to start making plans for that. But right now, we're putting all the attention on this one. Right, and then right. we'll. But, um, yeah, seriously, y'all, whoever really needs another place to stay, if you don't want to camp out, whatever, hit me and Randy up. 214-846-1096. Oh, what do you want? <laughs> want to say hi? Come here. Come here. Come here. Want to say hi? He got a haircut today. No, yesterday. Yesterday. Oh, he's so heavy. Oh, oh. Well, he ain't heavy. There he's he your is. brother. Say hi. Say, hi. say hi. I'm 14 years old. We got this puppy when Tristan was 12. Um, So... Tristan is going to be 26 in October. He's, so. he's had a rough life, too. <laughs> yeah. We have bad luck. This puppy has uh, fell off a two-story building apartment thing. He's had my dad's hydrocode, how do you hydrocodone. Say? hydrocodone. Um, I ran over him with Randy the Jeep. Randy ran over him with a Jeep. But he's still with us. Ugh. He's, so I, I, I think he's more of a cat because I think he has nine lives. <laughs> I wanted to show y'all yes. we got we got new cards. <laughs> Our business Check cards. That out, yeah. Yeah. And even on the back. I know Juan. He's a poor thing. Um <laughs> Debbie will be in the truck living large. Awesome. So Debbie, you're not gonna be at the place. Well, that, that's Mark saying that. So yeah. Debbie. You're going to get her in trouble. You better hush. You better hush. <laughs> Thanks, Thank you, Roberta. Roberta. So I don't know who's going to be at the cabin. If anybody or... Well, I got a message. Let's see who that is. <laughs> That's probably Tiffy. <laughs> Y'all, when we're at, at, at Ten Killer, remind me if we want if we get talking about... Hi, Bracely. Where's Hi, Bracely? baby. He said Presley's waving. Hi! Hi, baby. Um, Can I show her what we got her? No. It's a birthday <laughs> present. God, she is horrible about that, y'all. I love you, Presley. We love you. But yeah, if we, uh, if we, get, to, to if we get to talking. Oh, man. We're, well, we didn't come on until late. <laughs> we're supposed to start at 8. I think we started at 9. No, we didn't. It's 9.08 right now. We started about what? About 8. 2815. Anyway, if we get to talking about Julie's accident, I have to tell you the story. So remind me that I won't bore you with it right now, but I will bore you with it at Tinker. What? <laughs> but the story. 
that what happened. Do I need a shower or a place to get ready? Yes, yes, by all means, by yes. all means. There's of two bathrooms, Tish. so yeah. Yeah, come on by. Like I said, we're a minute away from Cherokee. Aha, uh -huh. Debbie said that she's staying at the cabin. <laughs> Does Mark know that? <laughs> <laughs> So we know two rooms and a shower a couple times <laughs> to take a shower. And it's a uh, it's very very low cost on the shower. I, I won't charge you much. Twenty five cents. <laughs> no, you're welcome to. Uh, he does know. What I said Mark does know. Oh, he does know, and he's okay with it. Or well, is he saying, saying you that you're going to be in the truck? Living large in the truck. The truck tent. Christine's about 35, 35 minutes, minutes away, so I might drop by. Yes, come on. Of course, y'all. Come on, come on. Of course, of course. The more the merrier. We know how the girls need to get ready. You guys can just put on a hat and... That's exactly what I plan on doing, too. Us girls has to... Put on our faces. <laughs> our hair will be yeah. all like this. And you know. You know how it is when I wake I up in the morning. I know how it is. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> Mark said I'm screaming with pooch, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> I can't believe they're camping out. <laughs> camping out's fun uh number one to me you have to have the right weather to camp out that's why we were so miserable at pinecone fest the first year is because it was so dang hot and uh last year the weather was perfect just like it was at 10 killer last year man we couldn't have asked for better weather um, so yeah, that's the number one thing when you're camping is, is the weather. It's gotta be just right. Uh, number two is the accommodations. If you got a good tent and, you know, good equipment that makes all the difference in the world. So <laughs> Debbie says she'll be wearing a hat. I usually would wear a hat too, but I can't because of that. Well, maybe by next week it might be better. I, I got a bandana you can wear. A bandana? Yeah. No, it will you. still do it. No. I got these the other day. No, y'all know the bandanas that uh, Mahomes wears under his helmet? It's real big right here and skinny in the back. Well, I got these. Wonder if Tristan like those. Mm, but I got I got that one. I had that Tristan likes special made. Cash. Send it. Then I got this one. Old faded old glory. And then you can't. I can't order something without having my good old <laughs> Texas flag. <laughs> Tish has a poop bucket. <laughs> Mark said he's going to be welding on his solar chuck wagon this weekend. Oh, cool. Brenda says she likes Faded Glory. Yeah, that's a pretty cool one, isn't it? <laughs> it looks like that bucket right there. That's pretty neat. So, okay, I guess we better think about getting off here because we've been almost on almost an hour. Yeah, y'all, I'm sorry about, I don't know why I can't get on mine, so I don't know what's, <laughs> what I can do. And Debbie said, I saw it, it's just poop bucket. <laughs> 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 uh, I made one for the uh, deer blind. It's nice. <laughs> it's comfortable. That's the only thing about the, camping the pool, is pool noodles. You just line that outside of that, that top of that bucket with those pool noodles. Shoot, you just like going at home. Yeah, the only thing about camping, you got to go into those public little 
park restrooms and they're not the cleanest. Yeah. And they're hot and sometimes they have flies. Yes. Uh, we will see everybody not this coming weekend, but next weekend, the 26th. Oh. And if we can, if we can swing it, we may try and get down there on the 25th. You think? Will they let you change the... Uh, uh, I don't know. I'll have to go in there because I've already gotten confirmation on the place. Um, <laughs> Debbie said, I got a seat for my poop bucket. <laughs> <laughs> no, Christine, Is it a poodle noodle? A, a poodle noodle. A pool noodle. <laughs> a pool noodle. Uh, no, Christine, they are not going. They they got uh, they're covered up with work with Who? getting Tom and Ronda, Oh Tom and Ronda, yeah. Getting their house ready and, and all that stuff. Yeah, because y'all know they got Jason's old not Jason's Jared's, Jared's old um house. house. And they're remodeling it and stuff, and it's it's taking a lot. Yeah. But they're getting it. Rhonda yeah, has they're, it. They're doing it. They're Some doing really it all themselves, stuff. and they're doing really well. So uh, I'm sure y'all have seen their videos on that. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're putting a lot of work into that, and it's looking really good. I can't wait till they get it finished. Uh, it's been nice visiting with everyone. Prayers for blessings, friends. Have a wonderful time at the meetup. Well, Roberta, we wish you were going to make it. Um, I'm guessing by reading that that you're not. Christine, do you know how many people are, are coming to this one? What? Mark said, yeah, anchor that poop tent down. <laughs> Good, they suck in the wind. <laughs> uh, okay, we got to go. It's it's yeah. 916. Okay, thank you all for coming in. God bless every one of you all. We love you all. Love you, Tristan um, and Presley, if you're still on yeah, here. Love you, Presley. Love you, Bob. And uh, we will try and do another live before 10 killer maybe one night next week um hopefully i can get on mine and be be watching for for my videos um on the heard that outdoors and I'm the first start... one's tomorrow you and tristan's supposed to have one. Oh yeah 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 well it may not come out tomorrow because we'll, we won't be back till late but yeah we'll video some some stuff tomorrow but uh anyway be looking for that on heard that outdoors and again thank y'all for joining us it's good to see you, every one of y'all. We love you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time. Bye, y'all. Have a good night.